Professor Forf here, and hey, you may want to turn up the volume, because we're about to talk about volume. But not that kind of volume. Volume is also a kind of measurement. As I said before, I never repeat myself, so pay attention. Volume is measured in cubes. A cube has six sides like a building block or a sugar cube. Volume tells how much space is filled. To find the volume of something shaped like a box, multiply the length times width times height. This box is four centimeters long, three centimeters wide, and two centimeters high. To find the volume, multiply four times three times two, which equals 24. Label the volume by the type of unit that was used to measure it. The 24 is in centimeters. Put a little three next to it up high. The three is read as cubed. It means that you are measuring the number of cubes. You would say 24 centimeters cubed, or 24 cubic centimeters. Another way to remember how to figure out the volume is to find the area of the base, length times width, and multiply it times the height. Our box has a base of 4 times 3, which equals 12. The base multiplied by the height would be 12 times 2, which equals 24 centimeters cubed. Psst! Here's a secret bit of information. It doesn't matter which side of a box you call the length, the width, or the height. And the order that you multiply the sides doesn't matter. The answer will always come out the same. Shh, that is our secret. Now here's an actual problem about volume for you to solve. On a hot summer day, Herman put ice cubes in a box which was 5 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 5 inches high. How many 1 inch ice cubes fit into his box? Correct! Zero, because they all melted. What? You want to know the volume before the ice melted? Good for you. You are a true mathematician. Well, 5 inches times 5 inches times 5 inches equals 125 1 inch ice cubes that fit into the box. That makes 125 cubic inches of ice. So there you have it. Volume. Length times width times height. Three dimensions measured in cubes. Until next time, be sure to learn new information daily.